All right, so that last episode went a little overboard on time. Now I'm going to, I'm trying something a little bit different here. I'm trying to keep it at 20 minutes per episode, just for the sake of easier uploading, because I don't have the best internet connection in the world. So I have myself a nice little stopwatch here, and this will let me know when I'm about to hit the 20 minute mark. But anyways, enough about that. We're gonna proceed on with the game. Now, we of course need to try to get with the princess. Uh, by the way, this isn't her. She is somewhat vital to the story, though. So, it's good to talk to her. But you don't have to talk to her now. Yes, her name is Malin. Yes, her dad went to the castle to ever some milk. He has not been seen ever since. So, we need to... If I recall correctly... I gotta think about this for a second. I mean, it's, it's not that this part is particularly hard or complex. Oh god, you! Why? No, 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 no. Yeah, don't be here when you get caught by gods. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? Here he's explaining the time system. Now, in some areas, time will progress, aka normally. But the truth is, is that some areas, time passes, others, time does not pass. And the reason why this is important now is the simple, no, I do not want to hear what you said again, is because we are going to have to hatch a, a little guy. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to hatch something here. So we are going to... Well, Malin's supposed to give it to us. Anyways, free Skotula right here. Boom! Alright, enjoy your free coins. Oh my goodness. That was a, that was a complete fail. I can't believe I didn't hit him. Alright, well anyways, climb up these vines. That's another change they made too. They made so much different in the 3DS version. But anyways... There is a very specific path that you need to take. Uh, I'm showing this to you now. You jump down right here. Now this is the tricky part, is going up this hill without being seen. Look where I'm running. You can see the guards on each side. Just kind of try to stick in between them. Run down the courtyard here. Which is simple enough. Now we can't just go straight up the front gates because the, of course the guards are standing there. Watch. So we do not want to get caught by them. We will, however, go ahead and scale this wall. Oh, hi, chicken. We, go, we will go ahead and scale this wall. Now that we have scaled this wall, run all the way back here to this corner, hop on down, and hop on down here. Now, we're actually getting a bunch of free money right here. Oh, another pro tip. If you mash B while swimming, you'll actually swim faster. That's not mashing B. This is mashing B. Anyways, it neat stuff. I don't remember if there's anything in this one. Nope, not even money. All right, we are good at we're good at money now, actually. So no worries there. All right, I do. I'm quite certain that we needed to see this guy. Oh, look at him laying there all sleepy, mumble, mumble, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, that's Mario. Anyways, you didn't hear that from me. Now that we have seen him in his unconscious state, we need to now proceed back to these guards, and I'm just gonna poke him in the butt. Or try to. He obviously did not like that. Anyways, worst case scenario, they throw you out, they don't even do any damage to you, so it's not too horrible. Yep. It, now you'll see that she is right here. We're going to talk to her again. Are you going up to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? <laughs> I already have. He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Hee <laughs> hee Oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee. Okay. Weird egg. Feels like something's inside. Says, so see, see what happens. It's like blah, 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 blah. This is one of them special items that you, you don't directly use, but they're, you're supposed to give them to someone or put them in something or... I wish I would have found that sooner. But I didn't, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Alright, boom. All right, no, no, wink, wink, jump down. Alright, so we need to go back up to the castle, and we got to hang out by Mario. I'm very loosely calling him Mario. He is based off Mario, though. There's actually a couple of Zelda games, I'll add this right now, where you will see characters that look like other Nintendo characters. 
Namely though, I believe it's just Mario and Luigi. And I say Luigi because there's another individual here who is a skinnier, taller counterpart to that guy. AKA Luigi. Direct reference. In fact, now that I think about it, I think the daughter is supposed to be a reference Princess Zelda. At least according to Link's, Link's Awakening. Don't quote me on that, though. Alright, now we are back here. I'm going to check something to see if this will work. So give me a moment. Nope. Okay, this means we're going to have to wait the old-fashioned way. So, in the meantime, I suppose I can prepare these boxes. Yes, you do have to utilize these boxes. Okay. Whoa. Lag spike. Why the lag spike? Why you gotta do that? Why you do that? You, why you no do lag spike? You, you do what? Says the boss to every single Nintendo employee. Anyways, I can't quite push that in a way. I don't know why we couldn't just, you know, kick him. I mean, it's not like we took down a huge insectoid not ten minutes ago. And but yet we were being blocked by this little guy right here. Yes, yes. Oh, let's listen to what Navi has to say. Maybe she does have something. Trying to fire away. She's your go-to person for if you just simply do not know what to do. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I gotta equip the Ocarina. Alright. So, we wait. I'll try to, I'll, I might edit this, make it speed up a little bit. So, here we go. I'm, I'm just going to run laps around the street. And with that, it's almost morning. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. All right. <laughs> What's that? You're just born? Well, screw you. Wake up, this guy. Hello, and who might you be? Yes, I am Tap Mario, owner of Lawn Lawn. I mean, yes, Lawn Lawn Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest. I guess I fell asleep for three days. What? Melon was looking at me. I'm gonna catch it for her now. I mess is all bad. Leave Melon behind. Wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. And cross country Mario goes taking off into the sunset. All right. Now that couldn't have proceeded any better. Now we're gonna take these milk crates and we are going to dump them right here. And what that will allow us to do is cross into the castle, where there's more sneaky, sneaky stuff. I hope you enjoy sneaky sneaky stuff because there's certainly plenty of it to be done. Push! Okay. okay no, 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 you don't roll into boxes, Link. That, yeah. Now I think of they see me rolling, they hate me, memes, and things just going. Okay, no, no, okay, okay, we're going in, we're going in. By the way, you gotta do this during the day. You can't do it at night, it's impossible. Believe me, I've even tried cheats. Not even they work. Alright, these are interesting. Uh, I gotta remember the exact method to doing this. Obviously, this is the first one and the absolute easiest. Now, something to note is that you can get right behind these guys, do a little dance, and they really don't care as long as they're not looking directly at you. Now, this one here, I don't remember if that guy runs around the center or not. Yes, now, here we can just run like heck, and here we are, we've crossed it. Now, if you really need the money, you can get that money. But, if you follow the steps that I've been going, it's mostly getting that money from on top of the door there, at the beginning of the castle, you won't need that money. You should be all set. Now, right here, we just need to wait for these guys. I wish- I bet you wish you could shield that fast. Oh wait, you don't have a shield? Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, that guy, not in a million years, will find you. See? Patience. Patience. Now this is the more difficult one. This one here can really, uh, get your nerves going. So, 
We're waiting here, waiting for this guy. There's actually, now, the truth is, there's actually two of them. Hey, yep, you see him? There's actually two of them. What you want to do is you want to get behind the second guy, which would be the guy on the right right there. And then once you just follow behind him, you're pretty much all set. <laughs> they make me think of the aliens from Scary Movie 3. We have very disturbing footage. Click, 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 click. I, I, I can just imagine putting these guys in there instead. Oh my god, they're just wearing hot shorts and they're knights. We can't, we can't deal with this. By the way, there's actually a couple of very interesting portions right here, and I, I'll go ahead and show this to you. Now, as you've probably guessed, that right there is Princess Zelda. Not that she would notice that, but anyways. Now, if you look in here, you'll see various Mario characters. Now, obviously, that's a reference to something, something. Shoot that, Red Rufy pops out. Now, you might think to yourself, oh my goodness, that is so cool, I should shoot all the windows. Well, okay, yeah, I would shoot all the windows. That guy gets angry and throws a bomb at you. Which I'm gonna throw right back at you! Oh, no. Fine, I won't throw right back at you. So, we are going to go ahead now and approach the princess. Hello, princess. Who? Who are you? How'd you get past the guards? I had to say it, but your guards ain't exactly the brightest. Oh, what is that? Is that... A fairy? No, the thing around means the fairy, not me. Then you are you are from the forest. Then then you wouldn't happen to have the, the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Well, uh, yes, I do, actually. Do not say no, otherwise she'll ask you again. And if you say no again, she'll ask you again. I had a dream. In the dream, dark clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule, when suddenly, a ray of light shot out from the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. It could just be a gay jewelry store guy, but sure, why not? I know it's a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got so carried away with my story, I did not even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. I have rule. Hyrule. What is your name? My name is that guy. Some call me Fairy Boy. Mostly me, Alan. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hy Are you sure you should be so exponentially uh, sharing that? Fine, Pinky promise, I'll keep it a secret. I won't tell anybody. Nobody. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil, as was been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time, to protect the Triforce from evil ones. And swoosh. So there you have it. Uh, the Triforce is good or bad based upon who grabs it. That's right. The tri the Temple of Time is the Temple of Time. Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. Then wouldn't it be called a door? And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Hey, we're 33% done. And another thing you need is the treasure of the royal family that goes along with the legend, the Ocarina of Time. Fantastic. Did you understand well the story I just told you? If you say no, she'll just repeat herself. 
That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? No, I refuse. Please, if you don't hurry, he'll be gone. Oh. Fine. Oh, ain't he just a sexy beast? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Gandorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears his allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. And then he looks at us with that cr crazy grin. What happened? Did he see you? Do not worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he did not believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions, so that totally justifies everything we're doing. What Gandorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come Hyrule to obtain it, and he wants to conquer Hyrule and all the entire world. Wait, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Well, okay. I don't have anything else going on. Hey, let's pick some flowers. I, I'm afraid, I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Gandorf get the Triforce. Oh my goodness. Yawn. We will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He should not have it. You should go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Gandorf does and then defeat him. Sure, sounds fun. One more thing, take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. We received Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Sad to see and showed off with C. Yada, yada, yada. Funny story, re it replaces our chicken. That chicken is now gone. Oh, snap. All right, so we have crazy pointed boob lady. Very pointed boob lady. Look at them polygons. I am Impa of the Sheikah. I am responsible for protecting the Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the Princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the Princess's dream was to teach the melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. And lo and behold, you find the use for the ocarina. I've actually always wanted to see her in a Super Smash Bros. game. I can imagine her being a much more beefy version of Sheik. Okay, there we go. We now know a new song. Fantastic. I can't whistle today, but that's okay. By the way, when you learn new songs, things get shiny. We have learned Zelda's lullaby. All is well. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out to the castle. Oh. Trouble. In other words, <laughs> they're just gonna throw me out. And I just sneak right back in. Uh, there's not gonna be trouble. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only the royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we are counting on you. 
Oh, like I said, the pros use the Deku nuts. Unfortunately, you can disappear like them, though. It would be nice, though. Alright, anyway, so... We actually need to go back into here. Now that it's daytime, anyways. And we need to get the, uh, a shield. Granted. Granted, you can get it for slightly cheaper if you proceed on Kakariko Village first, but this, this way is just faster. Now, if you grab the rupees that I showed you, you should have enough money to purchase this. This is, well, technically, the turtle shield. It's way too big for Link. He can't hold it like anyone normally would, so he literally uses it like a turtle. Now, you will be needing that shield, and you will be needing it for the reason that we are heading into an active volcano. Fire is everywhere. And, for whatever reason, Deku Wood burns really, really, really well. We don't want that to happen. We like our shield. So, we are going to... Oh man, I shouldn't have bought that. Oh, well, whatever. But anyways, so we are going to... Complete brain fart. But anyways, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to use that shield, and that will be totally awesome. I'm going to make my way into Kakariko Village here, and once I'm at the entrance, I'm actually all out of time. I'm going to have to proceed on to do the next part. I got another video, actually, that I'm going to put together for you real quick before I finish up recording today. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Maybe I'll upload that first. You'll, you'll, you'll know it when you see it. All right, so here we are, Kakariko Village, the next phase of the game. With that, I'm pretty much done. Um, once again, thank you very much, Ty, for watching. I look forward to doing the next video for you. See you next time I see you. Bye.